technically start the meeting if you'd like to. Maybe if uh, we could do, if y'all are amenable, the agenda and the minutes uh, until Shana gets here. That's okay. That's okay with me. Yeah. Okay. I can't. I, I, yeah, I can't make those calls for you. Also. So we're missing um, Lauren and Shana, right? Yes. Correct. Yeah, and, and she, her email sounded as if she were not maybe not making it at all. Oh, there she, oh, there she is. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, I'm late. Hi. Hi. How are you feeling? Morning. Yeah. Not COVID, so I can't complain about anything. And yet I <laughs> illnesses that aren't COVID still exist. It's weird. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How's everyone else doing? Yeah. Other than that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, should we get started? Let me message Lauren real quick, I yep. suppose. And then, um, and then, yeah, we were just gonna, um, I, I know I just shared the, um, note from Sue late last night, and so I'm sorry that, um, I just shared it before, but um, um, uh, 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 maybe, maybe, um, you know, just start with um, start with that before going into the report back from um, other city committees and from the city council budget meeting, um, and and then if we have time to talk about some of the other things on our agenda, does that all? How does that sound for folks? Move the agenda around a little bit. Um, so I don't know, Sue. Do you want to do you want to take take it away? Start it off. Sure. Well, first of all, <clears throat> hi everybody. Uh, it's good to see you. And um, yes, I we um, as you know, we had submitted a proposal to do a big convening in the spring, and uh, that was part of an original plan that we had. Uh, created several years ago, actually before COVID, if anyone can remember back that far. And we um, did the this from your last meeting and saw that people were just having, just having some concern and question about, you know, given the moment that we're in, is that really the best course of action? And so we, uh, excuse me, I have a dog barking in the background. In fact, I'm just going to let her in this room and that will help. Hold on just a moment. Call her our untrained COVID puppy. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, so we um, we just thought it would make sense to um, kind of pull back from that and um, you know offer you a little bit of support and some consulting hours to kind of transition you to the next step. So I'll just talk briefly about kind of the rationale for a big convening, which could still happen virtually, but the rationale for doing a combination of small group work, like the focus groups or one-to-one -one interviews or that personal relationship, and then also, and then also large, large events like a summit, that um, they really both accomplish different things. So the small group work really, really creates opportunities for everybody to have a voice. There's a really important relationship building component to that. And, uh, and then the large group convenings are places where you can really create kind of collective momentum and build excitement and a shared vision for the work. So we think, <laughs> excuse my dog, sorry. So we think that um, the best processes kind of combine those different kinds of activities. We think all of those things are needed. Um, one thing I'll say is that the relationship building piece uh, you all have to do that, right? Like you can't hire a consultant to do that for you. That's just, you know, elbow grease that has to happen, especially when you're still looking to diversify CJAC and all of those things, like there's no substitute for that. And so it seems like if, you know, the pivot because of COVID and different things is to not 
try to do a big meeting right now, that's work that can continue to have to happen and be really helpful to your, your cause as, as time goes on. And so, um, you know, we are happy to just fully step back, but if it would be helpful, we're all ha also happy to just offer a few consulting hours to help you all think about ways to kind of tell the story of what you've been doing so far and do some more maybe individual outreach and relationship building. I know that we do have an email list. So we're happy to be a go-between if the city wants to do a communication with folks, just giving them an update about what's happening and also creating some kind of invitation for some of that, more of that one-to-one -one relationship building. We're happy to be kind of a pass-through between the city and that group that we talked with last year. So I think that was everything I tried to say in the email and I'll just pause there. So can you explain sort of, I heard a couple different things there that, that you're committed to the next step being a large focus, focus group and there are no other next steps in your equity process that isn't that. So you would be taking a step back until COVID concerns are over. Is that what I'm hearing? Well, it's not, it's not exactly that simple, Cameron. I think also we, um, you know, we are, we are having, we are, ha we have a lot of work right now. We have a lot of projects and we're trying to work in places where we feel we can have maximum impact. And so the, you know, we're making decisions all the time about what we're going to be able to move forward with and what we're, what we can't move forward with. And it seemed like because there was just not, it was it didn't seem clear that to this group that was the next step that made the most sense, especially because of COVID and uncertainties about in-person gatherings and all of that. We just felt that there are things that the community could be working on right now. If you all decide, you know, you go on forward with a little large bargaining, I mean, I think, you know, there's, there's, you know, you know, we can still have that conversation. There's other consultants you could potentially work with, but we are saying that what we can offer you right now is a little bit of consulting to help bridge the work that you've done to the next step. But I do think, Cameron, to answer your question, there are there's many different approaches to getting this work done. And so there's a lot of relationship building and more one-on-one -on -one work that the community could definitely be doing. I mean, I think you all, you know, we listened to the community, we heard some recommendations. You all have started to implement those things into your credit at the city side, Cameron, it sounds like you've been really intentional about kind of building some of those recommendations into your work plans. I think there's many opportunities to go back out to the community and, and just, you know, get feedback. Are we on the right track here? Is our approach making sense to you? You know, what's missing? So that kind of feedback loop can happen in a lot of ways. A, a, a large gathering is a way to uh, uh, have that feedback loop happen. And, and as, I, as I said, some of the you know, advantages of that are that that can really create a lot of energy and momentum in the community to have a large gathering. But if that just doesn't seem like the right approach right now for a variety of reasons, then I think you can do that a little bit more uh, individually with folks. I think, you know, building relationships and having that feedback loop feels like a really important next step for the, where you are and where you want to go. Go ahead, Michael. Yeah. Um, well, I have to start by saying I'm okay with not doing a big, de a big, a big um, event. Um, I, I have attended too many of them that go on too long and people kind of lose interest in, at around lunchtime. And so um, we left you out of your audience. Um, I think also, so, you know, we, know, we have no idea when COVID, COVID is going, no longer going, going to be a threat. And, and I think we should abandon the idea of trying to, to pull people together um, because people will be reluctant to, to, to come to big, to big <laughs> I think. Um, I think it's also a financial burden for people, even though um, we, we, you know, we're offering we're, we're offering stipends. They still have to take a day off from whatever it is that they're doing in their lives. Um, and and I think in these times, it's just not it's just not a, 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 pr a practical or I think even productive way of 
doing business. I think it's a, you know, there was a time when that those kinds of meetings worked in my view, but I don't think we're, in, I think we're past that. Um, I also think that we have started our processes of um, meeting different constituencies. And I think we do that. It would be helpful to have the list that you and you assembled, assembled. And it would be helpful to have, have if we, if, if, as we go through that, that development, if we have questions about how to approach people who are, you know, who are reluctant to be, um, you know, in, in uh, you know, identified or called upon, um, then, then it would be then it would be helpful for us to sort of have other strategies to, that you know that you could suggest. But um, I think we I think we have some momentum in our own group. We've we've started a few discussion about a few topics of our own, and, and we we have uh, developed um, some some um, models for convening larger groups. We did the the committee of committees. Um, and things like that, and we can build on that. So I'm, you know, I'm. Thank you. I'm. Thank you for the the offer. Thank you for inviting about it. And I, I think we can. I think we we, 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 we can go ahead on our own. The one thing I'll say about the list of focus group participants is, you know happy to be a pass through with an invitation for them to share their information with you all but i think you know we're we're not comfortable sharing the list unless that group of focus group participants indicates that they're willing for that to happen so that's the one the one caveat i would just uh, put, put into the mix there but you did say you were willing to send out emails on our behalf correct Yes, I think you know we could work together to come up with an email from all of you with you know could have a um, an invitation for them to you know share share their contact information with you if they wanted to stay involved or you know participate in some way. That to me feels like a very useful next step, step um, um, to try and do that as a piece, as a piece of the relationship building puzzle. Um, to invite those folks who had some interest in participating in the focus groups to, you know, maintain some, maintain some kind of connection with CJX equity work, the city's equity work. So um, I would support working on a communication around that to start to build some kind of a, you know, a, a list of those folks. Helen, do you have any thoughts? My, uh, I just have a question about budget staff. So it's mostly for Cameron. So um, if we don't use the funds um, as kind of originally intended, could we use them on other, um, on, on like other outreach or or like can we, can we move them over or can we roll them over or give them back? Like, is there, are there, are there, what are the different kind of funding, funding options? Um, I, I you have 10,000 in the proposed budget for fiscal year 23, which was to continue this work with the creative discourse group. Um, I can't answer that question. I think that would need to go to council. Yeah. And much the homelessness task force has a similar budget. And what council has asked from them is proposals on how they want to spend it, right? So that council is aware of what the what the next steps are of the group and then they can approve the for sort of the release of funds if you will yeah i think that's not really a my concern concern but like i where i'm coming at with this is that if we don't use the funds this year will we lose it for you know next year or the year after kind of thing and it's, i don't i don't think so yeah it's not kind of like we're gonna want to not waste the money no no it's still in our budget for years so, so yeah no great great <laughs> well, well uh, so maybe I think Cameron is the person or Cameron and Shana, you know, please just circle back with me and uh, we can maybe just make a plan to see, you know, how much time you think it would, you know, it would take for us to support you with these next steps that we just outlined. We can go from there. Okay. 
Yeah, I think, I think, you know, I, I can, I don't, I only speak for myself, but I think it would be very helpful to have someone help us figure out what those next steps should be. And so we'd really appreciate those consulting hours. Like, again, I, I just want to reemphasize that, you know, these are volunteers and, you know, any, any expertise is helpful. Like, I don't know. I'm not trained in this work, right? Yeah. Okay, well, I will, I'm happy to, uh, Cameron, if you want to, you want to set up a meeting with me and Shana, we can just um, um, talk about, talk about what that would look like and we'll go from there. Thanks so much. Thanks yeah. everybody. Take Having care. On. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thanks all. Um, so yeah, so what are, what are, our ne I'm sorry, my brain's not totally plugged in here. What are our, um, like next steps from that is, um, I, I mean, just, I think we should have a little bit more conversation about what our, what our next, yeah, what our next steps are. That makes sense. And I say one thing, so the original idea, hiring a constant <clears throat> company is that people will uh, feel more comfortable to express their ideas, right? And if these start organizing uh, meeting, meetings and whatever other things, as a, as a, uh, do you think they will still feel comfortable sharing their ideas? Don't you think there should be a, some kind of, I hope I am right, using the right like middle uh, middle person, right? Well, and that's where I think using some of the consulting funds could be helpful in figuring out what would be the best interim, you know, next step. Well, not even interim, what would be the best next step? Is it going directly to the focus groups? Is it something else? And I think that's where, yeah, I feel like I don't have a strong vision and I haven't put the time in to make it to think about what that could best <clears throat> look like. Um, yeah, Jeremy, did you have something? Uh, I was going to just respond. I think it, Helen, I think it depends on a lot of factors. I've, in my past, done community engagement work, you know, kind of an official, official kind of city capacity, capacity to other cities, and also from our community and you know, grassroots, grassroots perspectives. And it's all about the setup, it's all about the questions, all about kind of the issues as well. Um, so I, don't, I think it's possible to do, you know, maybe not in the focus groups because that's that got into very sensitive, I think, territory. Um, but, you know, it's, it's always what are the goals we're trying to achieve when we engage the community and, and what are the parameters of that? So, yeah, I'm still unclear about what the summit really was intended to do. So I, I agree with you, Michael, I don't think we're there yet for some kind of a summit. Um, so happy to like back off that. I think that's a really good point, Jeremy, is like, what was the goal of the summit? And like, I, I know we, 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 know, we know what it was, was to talk about, you know, here are the steps, here's the steps, steps that we've been doing. doing. Here's the feedback we got from the other groups. Let's, let's talk about, talk about it. it. Like, like maybe what, we'll, maybe what we can discuss next meeting um, is is going over the language in the proposal and the equity plan for the summit and see if we can brainstorm about other ways to get that information. Would that be useful? Because I agree with Shana, I've not thought about what the next steps are outside mm -hmm. of this construct, right? This is the kind of roadmap we've been given mm -hmm. to move this work forward. And now it's kind of like, oh, we we literally cannot do that for health and safety reasons. Mm -hmm. What do we do now? So mm -hmm. that's that's what I see maybe this group's next step is, is really trying to figure out another way to get at that same information. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Michael. Um, well, well, part of this is, is really, really um, um, we need, we need to have time, time to see what comes, comes of the the report that 
they, they submitted. We, we need a little bit of time to sort of let things happen so that we have something to report to people. And uh, um, I, I, I had prepared a rather long piece that I sent to Shana, to Shana about you know, my concerns about the summit. Um, and, and I think uh, once we, we, if we hold off and we start to see, and, the, and, the, and we start to see that there are results of the, of the report that, they, that, that the, the creative discourse submitted, then I think we have a starting place for reporting to the, back to the community. And we, we can then start to uh, think about, well, how are we going to reach, reach people and, and uh, what, uh, what segments do, uh, or groups do we, do we need to be in touch with in order to build the trust that uh, Sue's, what Sue was talking about? In the meantime, I think, um, I don't know if Tom McCone is still planning to write an article about, about CJAC. I think that'll be helpful. Uh, as a way of establishing, uh, you know, trust, um, at least for those who <coughs> will read the bridge, uh, or I think that's where he's planning to put it. Uh, and we can, you know, use use the time to sort of gather information. We need to. I think it'll be helpful to find out what, you know, have another meeting of the committee co the committees, to to see what kind of progress. What changes they're making, and and where we can be helpful. I think we've we've started to uh, th think about a, a couple of specific uh, topics, and we can and work we can on those. On the, the housing, house, for example. Uh, so, so I I think we I think we have, we have not a, not a roadmap, but we have at least a, a map somewhere <laughs> about you know what what's out there and what we and what we can do somewhere to go. We have established connections with different communities, you know, different groups, and so I think we can work on that. And summits are notoriously failures. I mean, <laughs> think about the, think about the the different summits that, that have happened in our lifetimes, um, and what has come out of them. You know, um, so I, I I was not real fan of this from the beginning, but. Um, but I, but I, and, and I'm kind of relieved that they pulled out so that we didn't, we have to be the ones, um, if we were going to do it to say, let's not do this, but, um, so. So it sounds like our, our next, next steps are to, um, like have them on and on as like consultants to support us in the process to have the um the uh committee and committees meeting to support the working on the solutions that they offered in their equity report um and then do i don't know do we want to give ourselves a timeline to circle back you know does it make sense in like july to like circle back about like bigger like next steps next steps or yeah what is or and and what what else am I missing from what's being said? Sorry, I'm not taking good notes. Well, if, if I may, I, I have to remember we are an advisory committee to the council. Yeah. We, you know, and and I think um, what what we need to what we need to do is to get information now. And then pass that along. And I, I think obviously Cameron is passing information to the council based on who will work with her, with the city city staff, uh, and uh, and our work I think is to try to gather information from the, the the people who are not staff, and that's why I think it's crucial to be working with the committee, you know, the committee on committees and find out what they're doing what where they see their next step going and then can you know combine that information with what cameron is collecting from her and the people she works with and you know then make make a make some presentation to the try to figure out what we can say to the council about where we think the next steps are going i like the idea of having another committee on committees meeting mm -hmm. and then um talk through the equity report. I We didn't do that in the last it's one. It was like more that. of like a, 
get to know you vibe, right? Go check in with check in with people. Maybe it'd be a good time to give to give sort of updates on what the city is doing with the report and then how those groups can assist. I like that, Cameron. I think um, I, I do feel I still have really positive feelings about how that committee committee's meeting went and the groundwork that was laid. And so yeah. getting more specific with what came out of the equity report um, makes sense to me too, as a like just an, another tangible next step to get folks thinking more about the action to take on equity. Mm -hmm. Um, should we dive into that? Yeah, if, um, I, I think we did that in about like six weeks timeline last time. Um, I just took the calendar six weeks from now is end of February, early March, like right around town meeting day. You know, does that make sense to do it before or after meeting day or yes. after? After, after, after. after. <laughs> Please, dear God, dear God, after. Um, and so, yeah, I don't know if you did that like the first week of March, you know, like the week of March 7th. Um, does that make sense for, for folks with, with really this goal of, um, you know, probably like doing outreach about the, um, the, the, the stipends and the budget, um, sharing more about the equity summit, uh, the equity um, report and the next steps there and continue to like to build the relationship are those kind of the main goals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I could see, you know, get it, once we get into the agenda design, like, kind of using the recommendations <laughs> and the support, um, as a prompt for committees to think about, okay, what can we do to impact to influence that, that recommendation? Um, um, so, so, but yeah, I, mean, I think that's basically right. right. Michael, you look like you're about to say something. No, okay. I'm just, uh, I'm just <laughs> sorry. <Okay>. Just <laughs> you don't have to raise your hand, but you do have to shout out. <laughs> um, should we pick a time, pick a day? Like, does that? Um, should we do that right now? And so then um, we can kind of get it on the agenda and start doing the outreach. Yeah, I think. Do we do an evening time slot the first time? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Again, so I don't, yeah, Wednesday is normally city council or, or, um, or um, school board. So I can't remember what day we did it last time. It's not coming up yeah. immediately, but like Tuesday the 8th or Thursday the 10th. Does that I recommend, uh, so looking at calendars, I usually recommend so Monday, Friday, Fridays, that's the least likely to have another committee meeting. Friday meeting. Um, um, Friday is basically Friday. nobody has committee, committee meetings. Um, um, because we don't want to run up against another meeting, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, I, I would recommend a Monday because Fridays, you know, people are starting, uh, they're finished with the week, you know, with the work week. Um, and so I, I think a Monday was a good idea. I would move it back a little bit. I, I think the, uh, it, the it, there's always a kind of a cleanup period after, after election. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so I would I would go to the middle or to the end of March. I think there's no harm and we don't have to rush into this. But I think um, I, I, I like the idea that we, yeah, make sure we avoid any, any any conflict with other committees. So if Monday is a good time, I would go for a Monday in late March or early April. Um, just a note, I'm going to be gone for about three weeks from March 20th to April 7th. So, whatever that means means for, for work, for work. That's exciting. Are you traveling? Yeah, we're we're we bit the bullet. We made plans. <laughs> <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. Hope it's somewhere warm. Uh, warmer, not it's not. <laughs> it's, we're going to Spain to visit some friends. Ooh. Um. It, it'll be to our Vermont blood. It'll be very mild. <laughs> the children will wear shorts, so it'll be good. <laughs> Look, if it gets to thirty, it's mild, right? Yeah, it's right. Good. See. Uh, so let's throw out some dates. March fourteenth, 
April 11th, April 18th. All work for me. I would, uh, I, would I would say April would be good. good. Gives us yeah, good. Yeah. Good. 18th is Easter Monday. Oh, yeah. I clearly do not have uh, holidays for 2022 <laughs> on my calendar yet. So. Um, when does, when, when is, uh, do we know when school is out? Uh, yeah. For the, um, you know, for the spring, vac spring break. Helen, looking at you. No school breaks. Uh, I have a break uh, March, but I don't know my uh, kids' break. So yeah, so spring break for house. the high schools is April eighteenth through the twenty second. So, so uh, April eleventh would be a good, good day. Yes, that would so be maybe five thirty to seven. Sounds good. I like that. I like that we're calling it that. It makes no sense, and I love it very much. Many many many. Yeah, I'm gonna send a hold to everyone right now, just so everyone has it. Great, and then you'll put that on the um, city calendar, and yeah, hold it out. Perfect. So we can talk more about. We'll have time to talk more about the agenda and things for that coming up. Um, just, oh, I'm like, in the interest of time, it's only 8.35. Um, <laughs> um, any, yeah, anything else for committee and committees right now, I guess. Um, okay. Looking at Michael, it's like, back to talk again. Sorry, just kidding. <laughs> Just wondering about. I'm, I'm trying to think about how we. Um, um, you know, do we ask um, some other folks to come besides just committee, besides committee members or chairs? Do we want to get any presentations? Um, and I don't think we need to have any more presentations from uh, the uh, the discord the Sue's company yep. we just have to circulate the report again to them um but i'm thinking about for example we we now have a contact with the, with someone about the housing you know what's coming down the road for housing do we want that to be part of a present a presentation um because it, it would have some impact on what other what, what some of the committees are doing um i can think of you know at least three or four Committees where more information about what's going, what the possibilities for housing, and that, using that money that the feds have, have released, how that, how that might help the, the city do some planning. Planning. Uh, I don't know if there's if there's any anybody else or any other issue that we're we we've taken up yet. I th I think the I imagine the goal being more about each committee reflecting on the recommendations and kind of imagining within their scope of work how they might kind of fold those in to the mm -hmm. things they're doing as committees. So I don't know about picking any specific topic to go deep on. I think it's it's still more of kind of reaction to the, the equity recommendations and thinking about how committees move forward with them. Okay. And I'm thinking about primarily with like this, not primarily, but including the sentence and just like the people who don't know about that. Um, um, Kier, me, do you want to just give a quick update on the stipend uh, budget report back? <laughs> yeah, so long ago. I know. Um, so my personal big takeaway from that city council meeting was um, just great appreciation for our city staff and counselors and the tireless 
you know, kind of work it takes to run a city. Like <laughs> that was a long one. Um, and you know, people are just really committed to doing the, the work of keeping our city running. And so that was really impressive to me. Um, it was very interesting <clears throat> as, you know, people started kind of considering the stipend, um, um, it looked like it was gonna, gonna tank, tank. tank. Like, it, I, think, I think there were some some voices, voices either, either ambivalent about it or feeling it wasn't um, a thing to be doing right now to include in the budget. Um, but then I think we had some some great advocacy from the mayor and Lauren, of course. Um, you know, reminding folks why the stipend. What the, what the stipend is really trying to do um, and, and how it's important to building kind of equitable participation in city government. Um, and so I think that that was enough to convince some folks who were on the fence. Um, and I think also just reiterating the fact that this is a pilot, it's a small scale test. Um, I think folks didn't quite have that on the on council, didn't quite have that um, kind of perspective when they were thinking about it. So that, that was a really helpful thing to reinforce. Um, um, and so in the end, in the end there was, a, I think it was, there was a positive response. response. Um, um, and I think the budget amount we had suggested was maintained. Now that was quite a few weeks ago, so I don't know where things are now, but um, you know, I thought it was a good discussion. Um, and at, at that moment, um, council was in support of including it in the budget. So I don't know if Cameron, you have other updates since then to share. No, it hasn't been removed or anything um, that is in the final budget that council will be having public hearings on. So it'll be a good time if y'all want to come and reemphasize support for that, if that's something you're up to doing. But, um, you know, it's still in the budget. You're fine to walk through. You're, it's still in the budget. Um, uh, the sort of what I could see being a really important next step for this committee before 2023 budget kicks in is, is coming, back, coming back to council with a full, here's how we, how we just this rolling out, right? Um, so that they can, you know, be comfortable with that. So your implementation sort of protocol and how you see that working um, fully fleshed out what committees should be included. A couple, honestly, I would see a couple different proposals coming to council because that was the biggest chunk, what Jeremy said of that conversation really was like who would get it versus, it, it was an interesting um, uh, in the weeds conversation about a concept that was presented. So, uh, but, I, but I saw like needing the implementation, what committee should be included and um, just giving that back to council uh, before, you know, the summer when, if the, if this passes the budget, right? Mm -hmm. That's, but otherwise, you know, I thought it was a really interesting conversation and a good introduction to the concept. For those of us who missed it, what date was that? I mean, we can go back and look at the, look at the video of it. Do you remember when that was? No, but I'll put a link in the minutes to it so okay. you can watch it. Good, thank you. Mm -hmm. I like that right now, so I remember to do that. Yeah, yeah. minor detail I, lesson learned for me is when you send a spreadsheet with multiple worksheet tabs, you need to really tell people that they're there because <laughs> that's another thing that happened when I sent the spreadsheet people didn't realize there were these different scenarios to review. Mm -hmm. And so they just found the one that opened up the spreadsheet and then <laughs> that was another like detail that got missed, but yeah. Cool. Shana, um, we have not done the minutes and stuff, and I just want to make sure we. Thank you. For to that. That. Sorry, I didn't see the minutes, and I'm sure I 
should just pull them up. Yep, they were attached to the invite and they're yeah. always on our website. Always on the website. I know that's what I was like. I just didn't work hard enough. Here we go. Also, you know, as I'm staring at these, as I'm just like talking out loud in my brain, um, uh, getting Essex to come in in a couple of months to be all about this, their stipend rollout, rollout would be good. Yeah. yeah. In, a, in a couple of months. You, yeah, mm -hmm. because they got to try it on first and stuff. Yeah. Should we do that? like the week before the, um, or, you know, the meeting before the, um, before or after the April committee and committee's meeting. My recommendation to y'all is to wait until after so you can do the committee on committees and then you can uh -huh. focus on oh, all the questions, <laughs> yeah. stipends and, and responding to that, yeah. And I'm sorry, I'm just pulling up the minutes still being. Yeah, I don't know if this is a thing that was happening with um the community fund too, is I pull it up and there it's just like a white page. Um it's not giving me the minutes. So it still seems to not be working for me. If I'll send the link for folks if you don't. Up. Okay, cool. Or um, share a screen or something. Apologies. Yeah, but I get the agenda, which is what's good. Yeah, me, me too. Okay. Oh, that is a long link. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not working for me either. Do you want to just share your screen? Does that make sense? And then yeah, I will do that right now. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. If it's working for other people, just say the word. Uh, here are the minutes. Sorry, I got a lot of stuff going on. There you go. Awesome. Uh, the yeah, next bit that I'm scrolling through, through all of the memo that Shana shared, shared that we talked about, talked about stipend, stipend and council. council. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. I want to make a motion to approve the yes. minutes. I'll move that, make, make that motion. Michael, uh, Helen, do you want a second? I second. All in favor, aye. 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 Any opposed? Awesome. We've got our minutes. Um, can we can we send the link so that we can I, I can download download it from my files? Yes. Do you see the chat? Yes. That's the link to the website. I hope that works for you. 
If it doesn't, let me know and I'll just send it to you as an attachment. Whoa, that's quite a twist. No, it's a it's an intense link. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> wow. Um, I'll just send it out again as an attachment. Um, it is in your invite as an attachment. Hopefully, I'll just send it out again so you have it. Okay. I'll send out all the things as attachments. All right. Thank you. And then does anyone have any other um, public comment, learning roundtable, report back from other committees? Um, anything else to discuss? Uh, I will just ask a <clears throat> question. Okay, sorry. Um, the creator Rita discourse talking about BIPOC people and other people, people. How about immigrants? Do we have any information on them? Um, I am an immigrant, right? So I just wonder how we communicate with them, what's happening. And I see a couple of people, not that much, but there must be some people we can reach out. I think it is also uh, in our work scope. So I just want to bring this. We don't have to talk about it today, but I have been thinking this for a while. So what can we do for them? What's happening? Because they are really uh, invisible, <laughs> you know? So if we want to... Uh, <coughs> include people for this volunteer uh, city work. So how about reaching out, out immigrants too? too. So, so. Just an idea, idea for, for the future discussions. Yeah, I think we mostly were approaching that through like the English um, language learning piece of it and that that was one of the priorities coming out of that's kind of like I don't know if it's the frame or the approach for it and that came out um as one of the big priorities of the equity report that the city is working on um doing like concerted outreach to English language learners um and to uh, and providing um um uh you know, language specific outreach and um, I'm working with the schools on on developing that. And so, yeah, I don't know, Cameron, is there is there any update to share with with that right now or? No, I mean, we have a which line that we use here, but it's very expensive and that, that, that you know, you know, uh, as we go through this these recommendation, that one is one that I think I would need help with. And I really do what Pellin's point is, is like, how do we connect with like refugee action networks or something like that to like really hone in on what support people need? You know, like I have a, I have a, we have the recommendation for increased language access, right? But like, is that what actually, is that what people need? We don't, I don't know. I don't know. You can walk through. We did, we did make a connection to adult basic education. Um, way back when we started talking about this and we, we didn't do anything with it uh, except I think figure out if there was a language that we should you know get translation for um, some of our announcements but they are an obvious uh, an obvious group the other group that comes to mind to me is 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 one of the other committees that I sit on the actually the other the other now the police is gone and that is that is the, the community fund board um, we made, uh, I don't, uh, I, I think 19 of the 36 grants that we recommended to the council are for service organizations, uh, human services organizations that can, that operate uh, in the county or in the area. And, and those would be a good, that, that's another constituency where, where we could go to, like the Committee on Committees, we could invite those people, those organizations that received grants from the city um, as a result of the board to a, a, you know, a meeting also, similar, similar to the Committee on Committees, because they are the ones who have connections to all the different groups that we are, we're talking about who are mar especially marginalized groups. Um, yeah. and, uh, and, and sorry, uh, Michael, there's a uh, state office, office, I think, in the Capitol Plaza, but they are helping with the citizenship test, test and 
and other mm. maybe they they might know uh, some data i don't know should we you know reach out to them you know if i i when i walk <laughs> by i can ask i don't know how to do um i don't remember the name of the office maybe you remember it's like when you go to capital plaza and walk to the j morgan's it is left side adult basic education right that's the adult basic education yeah, uh, yeah okay yes. yeah that's fun well they have a i mean i the last time i spoke with them there was a small number of people who were using that service but um they they might have the connections to any any, any, any organizations that are working with uh, immigrants yeah and then also yeah no, right i think cameron said there's also the um central vermont refugee action network which is a volunteer run group that started in 2018 that's been doing a lot of work with um the afghan refugees as well as the um just like kind of why not like not through the refugee program, but asylum seekers um, and things like that. So um, I think let's maybe like hold on to that conversation for now. We can kind of mull on it as well about like what that looks like, um, if that makes sense. Yeah. Great. All right. Well, um, have a good couple of weeks all and um, we're meeting again on January 26th. All right. Cool. All right. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, bye, thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. bye.